everybody. This is the <laughs> Iron Gamers uh, YouTube show, episode number two. Um, happy Wednesday, everybody. Wednesday the 7th. Wednesday the 7th. Is it the 7th? <laughs> and it is the 7th. It is the 7th. Is the 7th sounds a good number. We don't know. It's lucky. Uh, today, Friday, we have a very exciting discussion, but before we get into what it is, we're going to introduce everybody. Uh, to the right I have. I'm Nick. Daniel. Kyle. Scott. I'm John. I don't know if I said that before, but no, you didn't. say it again. So I'm John. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, the next <laughs> Xbox, which has been uh, heavily rumored to be coming um, very, very soon. Next year? -ish? Uh, maybe. Ish. Um, Ish. <laughs> so you know, supposedly uh, studios already got development, or not development kits, but. Um, uh, rough hardware. development kits, like the hardware, just in a computer case, and they're going to get full development kits uh, by Christmas. So coming so up in a That sounds like they're start making games, guys, so save. So um, we're going to discuss that, and we'll also probably talk a lot about just next generation in general, but um, so oh, first off, that are first off, the next Xbox, uh, do you guys think we're ready? Do you think the Xbox 360 is pretty much done? It's getting dated. It's, you know, it's showing its age, like look at all these games that are coming out with two discs now. That was disappointing. Like the first time, oh my gosh, what game was like really? It was Rage. I think Rage was on two discs. I Rage mean, is on three discs. It's on three discs. Let's add that. Rage three is on three discs. discs. Uh, Final right. Fantasy's on three discs. Well, even that like uh, really early on, uh, what was it Lost Odyssey? It was on, like, That's yeah. on four discs. So. Oh yeah, I was just I like, mean, wow. They have to fall suit like the Blu-rays and get dual layer discs. Or something. I yeah, I don't know what they're thinking. Mm -hmm. I think that's. I think that's pretty much going to happen. I mean, Blu-ray is going to be the next format. Yeah. I would be absolutely surprised. Oh, I mean, yeah. It pretty much is. Anything would, that's on that looks just phenomenal. Exactly. Works better. I would be very, very surprised if Microsoft stuck with the DVD at all. Um, um, and I don't think we're ready for, like, flash memory. I think eventually we'll probably get there since the load times will be shorter, but I don't think we're right. We're there yet. We're just it could be, enough. but I doubt it. Because a lot I of people don't do think love it's... getting that disc. Oh, yeah. I well, no, this. I mean, you still well, I personally it. love getting the disc. I, like... I have downloadable content, like, I have a bunch of games on Steam, but, like, have I'm, not talking, owning, I'm not talking, I'm not talking in general, though, like, you flash mentioned drive. about the I'm disc. I'm talking, like, a flash drive, almost. Well, I know, I'm just saying, like, I'm like, talking about, like, the disc, people love like, getting the oh, disc. I love, like, getting an Xbox case with the disc. Their disc, well, a cartridge, like or whatever. A physical copy, absolutely. Yeah. I'm not a big fan That's what of I was the about. downloading game. So, app. they're saying that the next Xbox, which is right now codenamed The Loop, um, we'll refer to it as the seventh year, the next box. You know, it's connect. just like Connect was, well, what was Connect before? We'll call it the next what box. What was Connect? <laughs> we'll call it Next Box. Project Natal, wasn't it? Natal, yeah. Natal, yeah. Natal, yeah. Project Natal. Natal, that's it. Natal. Natal. With, uh, <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> Glass Man. Um, so anyways, uh, it's coming out next year. Do you guys think that's supposedly. probable? Uh, supposedly. Do you think it's probable that a new system, they probably not even announced? They haven't even really... I don't think they should next year... ...released yeah. anything about it yeah, besides that it's anything. in development. Yeah. They need I to, doubt They need to ever. rush it. They don't need to rush it. They need to build up hype for it like they did the 360. Yeah, because the 360 the sold like hotcakes because it was like, here comes the 360, watch out! It's a whole year and before then, everything else. And then PlayStation out. like started pissing its pants, it was like, there's a new 360 coming out, we need to do something, and they, yeah. as soon as the 360 came out, I mean, it just took off. Okay, um, so you guys all agree that it's not going to come out next year. I personally I don't think it should, but do you but think it will? My, uh, See, I think it. I think it's it looking will. like it will since the Wii U's coming out, and I'm sure Microsoft doesn't want to lose a year, because uh, there's no way they're going to release it early. But can I pause right like, there and say, I don't know if the Wii U is its competition. Yeah, yeah. Like, PlayStation. PlayStation coming out with something that would be competition. The Wii U is more I mean, like Wii U is trying to get back to you know the hardcore. It's trying to catch a freaking tablet. Well, how much can you do? Hardcore well, there is like a tablet. separate system with it too. But. Yeah, you can. I think you, can you get a controller for it now? I think. So. Yeah, they, they'll probably. Besides make, the tablet, they'll probably. Well, apparently, make you can have two tablets per system. Oh gosh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are the graphics like? A little better than PlayStation 2 or something like that. No, at graphics are full HD. It's a, it's, yeah. it's a tad like, better than the 360. Right really? But only a tad, PS3. which is, which is and that's even on the tablet too, from what I've heard. Yeah. If they can get the tablet to work. It, but yeah. um, <laughs> so let's say let's let's say that uh, Microsoft decides to release the system next year. We know the Wii U for sure is coming next year. I mean, we're we're pretty certain. I'm gonna say right now, how can you afford it with all the games that just came out? Well, I think I think that is the silliest thing jobs. about it. That's like. All these games just came out. Battlefield, Assassin's Creed, Modern Warfare, uh, Skyrim. Yeah, Skyrim. Yeah, but hold Skyrim. Skyrim. But, and then there's more games coming out, though. Remember we were just talking about Ghost Recon, Future Soldier, and like there's a bunch of games coming out still. But Ghost Recon comes out earlier this year. You look at what's coming out later this year, there really isn't much except for Halo. November. November. There's not really much else yeah, coming out. Um, which, which really makes me think that a new system is going to come out next year. Um, because we had just had that huge 
just amount of games come out. And I think that was kind of the last uh, last hurrah uh, of the, the systems. You know, everybody's been working on these games for a few years. They've perfected the software. They're going to come up with this huge game, and um, the, everybody did. And that's why we saw all what these games. What about Halo 4, though? Like, you just mentioned that. That's, well, you know, that's, that's the thing is, going to happen with that. At the end of the trailer, the did it, At the end of the trailer, did it say anything? Appar I've heard it's been confirmed for 360. Huh? Whoa. Oh, wait, what were you saying? I've heard it's been confirmed for 360. I've heard that too. And but even with that, you guys know the loop will probably play 360. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, so even absolutely. if that's the case. If they don't have backwards compatibility. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't even buy it. If it doesn't have backwards compatibility, like just a stack of useless games, basically. When do you think it'll be released? What do you think? Uh, do you think it will get uh, seen like in November if it's released next year? Or do you think oh, it's going to be late, if anything. Yeah, okay. right, right Especially since there's no news. information really about it yet. When do you think we'd see an announcement? Because uh, an announcement at E3 is pretty unlikely if for them to first announce it. Uh, CES yeah. is meh. Do you think we'd see an announcement before that or after that? It would have to be, you know, before E3, definitely. So do you E3 would not, it would be terrible if it... Oh, if it didn't show up at E3, nobody would really Well, if it showed up at, I mean... I, th I think like it that was the first announcement. Three, I'm saying three. that was the first announcement, though. Yeah. And they were still trying to release it next year. They'd have like no time to build a pipe for it. Well, yeah. E3 technically is supposed to be more for the developers, anyways. Yeah, it's you know. But it's also a big show for announcements. I mean, everything is. And that's what was like, you know, when they showed the slim. Wasn't that where the Wii U got? That's where the Wii U got. Well, no, it was rumored. Yeah, it was where it was, it was officially rumored. announced. Yeah, that's where it was. It was TPS. No, I don't think the Wii U was first shown at TGS. I think and TGS is after E3. Uh, could I also add, they could just really heavy rumor the crap out of this. Like, you know, companies like Guarantee might just, you know, leaked information about the new, you know, 720 loop Xbox and, like, just put pictures out there and be like, oh my gosh, it looks awesome. It's like, they could do that already. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it would be great publicity. I mean, of course people want to see this. If it's going to happen, I think I think it'll be announced at E3. I honestly think that they're going to try to, like, make this big hurrah about it, like, the slam, and try to show this bad boy off. Or that, or they're going to have to wait a year. That, or they'll announce it, and then, like, wait a while to, like, you know, right. get, get like it out. Right, kind of like what the doing. Yeah, like, announce it and be like, okay, we're, we got this system, it's coming out in, like, you know, six months. Okay. Uh, what about an announcement at the uh, VGAs? The Video Game Awards are coming up on Spike TV. A lot of big stuff has been announced there before Skyrim was announced. Oh, yeah. Now, nothing compared to the level of a new system, but the Skyrim announcement at VGAs mm -hmm. you know, proved that that's a great place for... Uh, for Start building hype. If you haven't played Skyrim yet and you love video games, you're really missing out. But it's next episode. Next episode. No, next week is what we'll talk about week. Skyrim. Um, yeah. So, do you guys think we could see... Do you think it'd be... Microsoft would even worry about because I think in a system announcement at the VGAs would steal the show. Everybody would oh, forget. Yeah. Everything else would be forgotten mm -hmm. except for that, especially if it was looking really good. And that's kind of the bad thing because they're going to hinder their own products, like the Xbox 360 games. Like that's what I was saying too. It's like, like I'm not going to buy any games right before the loot comes out. So if anything, like once they announce it's coming out, it's like I'm saving money. Like, I'm saving money so I can get the new system rather than get the games. And there's really only like two things I'm even looking forward to anymore on the 360, and that's Mass Effect 3 and Halo 4, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm Besides that, I, there's nothing else I'm even looking forward to. I did like Future Soldier. Future Soldier looked really I haven't nice. seen anything. Oh my gosh. I don't really look. It looks nice. So, um, so you guys all think that it's not going to happen next year? I hope it doesn't happen. I hope it doesn't. Yeah, that's my hope. I mean, I think the big clue that something's coming out is what games are announced for later next year. Yeah. I think there'll be a leak before anything happens. Oh, right, that's, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's, they've got a leak, at least a picture of it. Or, there, you know, there will be a leak of some, some mm -hmm. sorts. I, I pretty much can't That always it. happens. <laughs> so, but do you guys think an announcement at the BJAs is even remotely possible, or do you think that Microsoft won't do it? I mean, because I think that uh, with the 360, they announced it. They didn't announce it officially at E3. They announced it... And they had their own special thing on MTV, as if I remember correctly, for the announcement of the 360. Really. I think is what happened. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, would they even want to share the spotlight? Do you think, or do you think they'd go the other go route of having their own special? I don't, I don't know. know. That'd be rough because I mean, where are you gonna where are you gonna? They could do something, you know, with uh, Attack of the Show or with the video game show that I know of that. Yeah, the one that runs X-Play? X-Play, yeah. X-Play, see, that'd be a good place because, you know, there are pe there are fans, I mean, I'm not really a fan, I watch it every now and then, but, you know, there are people I think that they would market to a lot better if mm -hmm. they did something like that. See, with the big game events, it's like, E3 is a good idea because if you do it at E3, well, everybody does it at E3, and, you know, people, are, people would be really expecting it if it didn't come up until then. 
And, but if you put it on like a game show or something or something like that now, you could talk to the show who they're trying to you know, get it on there and be like, you know, maybe if you give us a little bit more advertising on this network, and then there you go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because that would bring in a ton of ratings. Oh, if, yeah. If, if there was a big announcement saying like, there's going to be a huge annou Microsoft announcement maybe on, something this about of, Blue, on this like, episode of the show, of whatever show, um, if there was a that, like there was commercial saying a huge announcement from Microsoft, I know I would be. Oh yeah, I'd watch it. I'm sure a lot of people Definitely. would be tuning in, even if they're not fans of that show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you can come over. You can come over. <laughs> so uh, we I talked still a lot about. It's really gonna happen though, anytime soon. Okay. And that's and that's kind of my hope. But too, do you think announcement at E3 at least? If maybe. not by then, you know, for maybe next year, a system next year. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we talked a lot about the Xbox. Let's just briefly touch on the PlayStation. Is the PlayStation 3 even ready for a new system? I don't really think it's... You're, you're kind of a big PlayStation. You. Yeah. Well, they could, but, I mean... I don't know, it's hard to uh, say. Because look at look at Drake, Drake. They need to take their time. Yeah. And actually publicize their stuff yes. better than they did with the PlayStation 3. Well... If you look now, uh, the PlayStation is just finally starting to catch up. They started, uh, their launch was really rough. I mean, they yeah, had a $600 had, price tag on the system. Yeah, they had uh, like one or two good games. Yeah, it was a very yeah. rough launch. Uh, so, I mean, you know, I personally don't, I think the PlayStation's okay for now. I think it's, it's still... I think it could still go another year. It has potential. Or two. Like, exactly. And what's still, it's it's, it's yeah. almost better than the Xbox, isn't it? Like, almost, is it caught up to the Xbox or is it better? I'd say it's sales or... No, no, with like... Uh, unit and I would say it's technologically better. Than yeah, it's like it's it runs a Blu-ray yeah, disc. Yeah. I mean, I mean the Blu-ray alone is uh, it has so much untapped potential. It nobody does. Even, nobody yeah. even does anything with it. Darn Japanese in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> building stuff so up. Much, oh, nice things. So uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll close this conversation. Uh, price. I got one other thing. Okay. What about handhelds? The new, like the 3DS and the Vita. Right. I'm worried about handhelds. What, are, what about any of those? Like, do we have any words on those? I hear the Vita's... Well, 3DS is out. Kind of well, I mean, okay. 3DS, 3DS is, is Super Mario 3D Land, fantastic game. Okay, let's just talk about the 3DS real quick. <laughs> what do you think of it so far? Uh, I think it's finally catching up. Because me and you are the only two here that has a 3DS, right? I think it's finally catching up. I bought one... Uh, catching up to what, though? Catching up to... It's, it's, it's catching up to its potential, I think. Um, you know, I mean, the system launched, there was really no good games for it. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Ocarina Time 3D came out, and it was cool, yeah, yeah. but at the same time, we it's wanted something original. Yeah, exactly. we, we wanted something original, and it wasn't until just like now, when we got Super Mario 3D Land, where we finally get this original 3D yeah. adventure, and the game is fantastic. And, you know, I mean, yeah. before I was like, why didn't I not just wait for a Vita, but now I'm playing this game, I'm like, man, I'm really glad I got the 3DS. And I mean, something. Mario Kart 7, you know. Oh, it just came out, just and came it, out, looks, yeah. it looks really good. But um, with that, though, I think it's kind of limited, because, like, you guys are talking about the Vita, and, like, you know, the Vita's probably going to be pretty big. I, yeah. You know, when it comes out, and like, they oh, right. if they do it absolutely. right, it could be huge. And, like, the thing with the 3DS is, like, you know, because you were just playing, you know, you were just playing Mario, or Game was playing Mario 3D and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was, and it was okay. Like, I mean, I love Mario, and I love the story, but it's like, you know, people are so into graphics now. Mm -hmm. Like, graphics are key to a game. You can't say, like, like look at Battlefield 3. Okay, but what about, like, things like Minecraft? Well, absolutely, but, um... Graphics are not key. But I think yes, a lot they're of, important. I think in most games, like, Minecraft gets away because it has, like, just that, you know, mindless sense of just mind, But there's mind, so mind. many, like... Like, back to the Xbox Live Arcade games. Like, there's so many of those come out nowadays that are, like, 2D and, you know... But they're that not are blockbusters. Like, but they're not blockbusters. Like they're good. A lot of them are popular though. Yes. And I would say Minecraft <laughs> Minecraft does get away with it. But that's because Minecraft has such like diversity and yeah, originality. Like, you can do so much in it that it people does. are willing to say that, you know, graphics aren't that important to me right yeah. now. But like, let's say Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3 had crappy graphics. People would have been pissed. Well, oh, just, <laughs> just look at, just that's look at, just because it has hype behind it. Let's yeah. See, just look at uh at Homefront. Um which, oh, yeah. there was a lot of other problems with that game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, More the than writing, that. writing was fantastic. But oh, yeah. The story was a lot, of, a lot of AI problems. The story was very short. But uh, a lot of people commented on how the graphics weren't up to standards of, say, Call of Duty. And it almost, I almost felt like that kind of killed it. Like, there was minor AI problems, but... No, there was pretty major AI. Oh yeah, man. you get stuck and stuff. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> people like complain about the graphics more than the AI. They were upset that it was like so choppy and like characters were so rough moving. Like, right. and that's what I'm taking into graphics too. It's like, I mean, yeah, graphics are important, but I don't think they're a key selling point always. 
Okay. It's gameplay that's the main. Oh thing yeah, though. definitely. Yeah, I would say gameplay is the most important. Oh, but yes. if you were going to go down the list, you know, graphics is pretty high oh, up. I'm, I'm not saying. Now it's that's what I'm saying with yeah. Minecraft. Is like the gameplay is so, so fun. Cool. It's, so, it's so good that it's like graphics is just like whatever. You know what? Uh, funny. It's like, putting, it's like putting sexy underwear on a hot chick. Yeah, it makes it better. <laughs> you know, uh, a funny Angel story about Minecraft. By Victoria Secret. You know, funny story <laughs> about Minecraft, which we might have a separate Minecraft review later, so we're, I'm not going to get too into it, but I just recently had somebody on Facebook ask me, um, hey, should I get Minecraft? I said, absolutely, yes. It, it's it's well worth the money. You're going to spend a ton of time playing it. And they said, well, even though the graphics are bad. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah. yeah, the graphics, it's not that the graphics are bad, it's the style of the game, and I think that's why. And that's the thing, it's yeah. not it's style. That, if Minecraft, it. or not Minecraft, if Call of Duty or Battlefield would have been blocky, then that would have been a whole different thing. It's not yeah. style of game, style of the game for your list. Well, I mean, but, you remember that, what was that game on 360 we played, the arcade that was like a rip off of Minecraft? Oh, Fortress uh, Craft. Fortress Craft. Fortress Craft. <laughs> that thing had like HD, you know, style blocks. Right. It was, but it was pretty much the same thing as Minecraft, right. with a lot less content. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, even with the HD graphics, it didn't really look that much better. Oh, because it's, right. it's a block. That's yeah, not what I'm saying. Like, the textures were even HD, and it wasn't any better. Yeah. So. But, um, okay, back to the, the future system discussions. Yeah, um, we went yeah, off topic. We got really <laughs> off topic. I apologize for that. We got uh, kind of off topic, because we're talking about how the future systems, you got to have good graphics well, in the future systems. Have good graphics. Anyway, about the Vita. About, well, <laughs> let's, let's, let's talk about, uh, back well, let's talk uh, we'll get into the Vita and 3DS maybe in another episode. Okay. Because we're going to spend way too much time talking about it. Yeah. But um, let's talk price. What do you think oh, the gosh. systems should be priced at? Well, what do you think they should arms. be priced at it? And what do you think they will be priced at? Uh, do what, anybody? I'm seeing the most 500. Yeah. Oh, for really? Sure. That high? Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. You don't think that they're going to look at what the happened with the PlayStation? No. How bad the PlayStation sold? I'd say they're going to four hundred at the least. They're going to try and least. sell that the fact that it's so much better than the previous generation, yeah. and that, you, that it's worth all that money. Mm -hmm. See, that's that's they what PlayStation tried to do, money. but the games just weren't up to par when they started off, so it was really slow. I'd say four hundred, four hundred fifty at the minimum, very base minimum. What do you think it would be uh, for the for the Xbox? Uh, what do you think? The Xbox, I would say five hundred too. They're going to. I mean, I love Xbox. And I prefer Xbox over PlayStation, but it's just like, I mean, look at what they just did with Xbox Live Gold. Like, they just screwed us. Like, they put a $10 addition onto Xbox Live for stuff that, you know, maybe you didn't want. It was the day after uh, Sony. I think Sony does their online subscription fees. I mean, their online service is nowhere near as good as Microsoft. Yeah. I think that their subscription fee service uh, is very, very well done. Um, you know, pay if you want to. You get all this extra stuff if you want it. If not... Fine, you, you can still play your games. I think, I think once why you pay... Why can't you just play online? Like, think, that's my thing. See, that's the thing. I think once you pay $60 for a game, you should be able to play that game online. You should be, you able, should be able to get the full content on it. Because you're not exactly. buying multiplayer unless you bought Xbox. Well, that's the thing. You know the new downloadable codes now. You know, exactly. So you oh, my gosh. For Battlefield 3, that made me upset. It's that's like, for, like, almost all of the multiplayer all games. Almost 60 bucks that you can get quick little in-ski. And... <laughs> so, uh, I personally think that a $500 price, price would be outrageous. I don't think Microsoft would do that, seeing as how the PlayStation sold so badly because of it. I think um, they're going to do a bundle. I don't think they're done with Connect. I think oh, Connect yeah. will be bundled with it. Have you heard already the rumors about the next Connect, though? Yeah, they've already been talking about oh, it. Yeah. I, I think we're still a little bit away from oh, that. Yeah, that would be two or three I think, years at least. I think uh, the system is going to be built with Connect in mind, oh, yeah. and but it's not going to need Connect. It's, and have you guys played Connect? I think I'm the only one among us that has you're, you're Connect is one. really actually pretty fun. You know what? It was made for the purpose of being like this party system, uh, active, moving game, yeah. and it's really fun. Well, like, I mean, I've heard it, yeah, it's fun, but there's just nothing on it that really catches my interest. See, like, and the only reason I have, like, <laughs> the only reason, like, I have, like, Connect Adventures is because it came with it. And that's because, you know, my parents got it for me. If my parents would not have gotten me that, I definitely would not have, you know, got Connect. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like, that's such an expenditure that, like, you're just like, wow. Like, it's like an extra 150 bucks for this thing. It's like, fine. How much does the PlayStation Move? Uh, PlayStation Move, I think, for the Move, camera, and the Sports Adventure, I think it's 100 Yeah. 
So, but um, you can get, but you can get bundles with like resistance and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It comes with a gun. And it's 150. But anyways, I think a 500 dollars price brick would be ridiculous. I think it's going to be the system with Connect is 400. The system by itself is somewhere between 350, 300. I would say 350. They'll probably bump it up to three. I would go 350 to 450, and that'd be like 350 with the 250 gigabyte, or so maybe even more. I think if they announce the system and they say, because the, uh, there's the rumors that are out are saying it's going to be a cheaper. Uh, a smaller system. It's mm -hmm. going to use a lot of stuff uh, with the cloud. Uh, so I think I would be surprised if it went over 400 at all. Okay, how about this? Do you think that the PlayStation and uh, Xbox will be doing more motion sensing stuff with the next systems? I don't think so because I don't think it's there with uh, the hardcore games. I don't think hard. Yeah. I, I couldn't imagine standing for hours on end playing a game I mean, like that's Skyrim. The one that I've oh yeah, like Skyrim for right. hours. What about for hours? Yeah, it would take a while. What about like I mean, you were playing at least you know. Skyward Sky Sword, Sword is about the only one that I've played at all that has any kind of really good feeling motion controls. Well, what was it? it was uh, one? What was what was the actual like movement? Oh, one to one. One to one movement. I mean, yeah, that's hard to do. Not only is that hard to do, but that makes it make more fun. Like because they were, you know, when Kinect came out, they were talking about that uh, Gladiator game thing. And oh, uh, the one by I think oh, it's by Crytek. Yeah. And I was so excited, like you know, like I was like, you know, that would kind of make me sell me. Like yeah. if you got an open space, you know, maybe they give you like okay, like two handle things you buy. Like I guarantee they probably you could probably just hold two things. But it would be so cool to have a game be you know, you know, one to one and like just like a gladiator fighting style game or like a sword fighting game or something like that. I mean, like they the lightsabers. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for that. Star Wars. I've been like if that. Star well, Wars been... did that, you don't even know how many fanboys yeah. would just be sprinting to get that. I'd be done. They'd well, probably, would you just buy like a regular take my money. lightsaber? Here, <laughs> shut up and take my money. <laughs> All right, so uh, that was our discussion of the Xbox Seven Twenty. That went really a lot longer than I thought it would. We had a really good discussion. I'm sure there will be more discussions about the Seven Twenty when more stuff's announced. Um, also, the Wii U. We really didn't get into it too much. Mm -hmm. We'll have our own separate episode, probably. Um, you someday. Know, someday. Yeah. Someday. Well, I won't make any predictions, but someday we'll have our, our next episode. So thank you for watching. Uh, tune in Friday when we go over our top three favorite TV shows as a child. Um, every every Friday is going to be, we're going to go over our top three favorite of something. If you have an idea for one, send us a message on comment. YouTube or comment. Yeah. Um, you also comment on what you think about the next-gen systems price-wise, uh, when we'll see it, when we'll see an announcement. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys. Bye. Goodbye.